Hi, in this fourth section of the, uh, of the video, we're going to take a look at the accessibility results and also change them, so they're not, not even change, not, sorry, not change them, but, but illustrate them on the ARC map so we can see what happens and what do they look like. I've, I've made a few preparations so it's easy for us to see what things look like. Uh, first of all, I've added a map of the Swedish municipalities. This is just a straightforward sort of map. Um, and, and just a boundary is no details and, and, and clipped out holes for where they got the lakes uh, in the major area. Stockholm is located where I'm using the cursor at this very moment. And Gothenburg is over there and Malmö is over there. These are the three major cities. And in this part of Sweden, probably 80-85% of all the individuals in Sweden actually do live. So this is the majority part of Sweden. And in these sections of Sweden, we've got the sort of the coastline of, of the northern parts much of the remainder. The inner part of Sweden is very, very sort of remote and, and, and not at all very densely populated. So, in order to show the results, I have saved the, uh, the output from the accessibility computations as a separate Excel file, and I've already sort of imported them into the ArcGIS by opening up the tab. And in this case, the only thing I need to do is to do the join and join relate and, and make sure that the um, the K code, which is in this case commune code, which means the municipality code, um, to be merged to the uh, sort of the similar material from the from the Excel file that we've got. So the muni corresponds to these kinds of, of keys. There's actually going to be one value that is different that you're soon going to see, but th that's another kind of an issue. So I'm going to press OK, and the material has been joined. So what I now want to do is to right-click on the properties and actually go for symbology and, and go for quantities and choose the AI exponential mathematics. So it is the, the summed accessibility at any location I, and I, of course, is then all the separate municipalities and the exponential mathematics means that the model being used, the decay model being used, is the mathematically derived one. If I choose that one and I go for 10 different values and I keep it in natural breaks, uh, since the values are so different between the different models, we're just going to sort of look for the differences between the different kinds of sets. We're not going to compare the values in any kind of sense. But nevertheless, this is what we're going to do. Natural breaks, 10 different classes, and that will be it. And if I click OK, this is what we see. And it's a relatively straightforward uh, output with one minor setback and that's the fact that if we are looking there we've got no values for the municipality called Hirby and that's because they changed municipality code so the map has got one code and the mathematics has got another one I think if we sort of dismiss that fact and just move for the major results of the 289 others we'll see the outcome so the brown colors now correspond to low accessibility and because the majority of the workers in these areas have got very very far and long distances to the major job areas Stockholm, Gothenburg and Malmö the overall accessibility to jobs is low. There's a few municipalities over here Umeå, Luleå, Östersund, Sundsvall and so forth that are fairly big and also got relatively many jobs and that's why they turn up and this is the major one with Kiruna which is sort of they got mining industries and they got uh, space and space industries and stuff. So they got a few interesting things going up up here and, and a few jobs for the same reason. So this is majorly the, so this is the distribution of, of, of employments and jobs in most parts of Sweden accessibility. Um, I have already created similar kinds of maps for the regressed results, exponential regressed results, and also for the power model. So the same coloration, but different sets and different thresholds of values, we have to live with that. Uh, if I go for the layout view, we would be able to see that in fact, if I move for this one and do the zoom in, I've made sure that they are all corresponding so they are the same zoom in values. We see through the left the exponential ma um, mathematically derived, in the middle the exponential regressed, and to the right the power model. We can see that there are differences in how they they behave. The the regressed one was was not was not very sensitive to distance at all. So as you can see, the fact that we got 
very many jobs in the southern part of Sweden tend to spill over in all the municipalities in the south central parts. So all these municipalities are deemed to have very good job accessibility just because they are located sort of in between all the others. And that's got the sort of similar negative effect for the far north regions where just due to the distance they are dismissed from the jobs in the south and as you can see the brown colours are unique to those areas. The power function in fact has got very lower job expectancies but the pattern is, is kind of in between the exponential mathematics derived and exponential regress derived. Well, who's the, what, which one is the correct one and which one is not? That's, that's for someone else to find out but these are the three different outcomes of a model. If I knew, uh, and I do of course because I've got the observed commuting values and I know the observed flow, I would be able to indicate the deviation between observed and estimated flow and the, and the deviation between these could then of course be expressed in terms of rope mean square deviations or difference. So I could in fact produce a measurement that tells us a little bit about the pattern, a little bit about the deviations between these kinds, these three models and thereafter inform us which one is the best. But I will also say this is beyond and this is not part of what we are doing for the calculations of the root mean square. No, sorry, the, for the accessibility calculations. Uh, if you want to know more about root mean square deviations or difference, it's just to Google it. It's all over uh, Wikipedia and these kinds of, of sites. So this will be all. This is how we calculated the uh, accessibility models and how we finally reached uh, visualization of the outcome, output and outcome. So thank you very much.